Hello everybody and welcome back to CFO Conversations. Today I have the great pleasure of welcoming back Julia Van Gaar. Um, so thank you for coming. We are talking today about accountability versus responsibility and, and what does that mean as a CFO, as an executive leader team. And you know we know that there's a lot of these buzzwords getting thrown around, around focusing on execution, taking that accountability and the responsibility. I mean, what does that actually mean for us as CFOs? Look, I think um, the time for talk and theory is gone. Um, we're in an environment now where people are focused on action, accountability and delivering results. Um, so, you know, when we talk about um, helping organisations um, improve their execution capability, it's really about helping them deliver results. Mm. The next question is, well, how do you do that? And that's where we come to thinking about accountability and responsibility. Um, a lot of organisations are just struggling with too many competing priorities. Mm. So you take your typical CFO that's dealing with, you know, monthly, quarterly, annual management cycles. Then on top of that, they've got the strategic initiatives that they're dealing with as well. And then something comes out of left field. Um, how do you maintain your execution capability mm. when you're trying to juggle all of those balls in the air? Yeah, and I guess it goes to surrounding yourself with good players as well in the team. You know, and I th I've said this a number of times that in terms of the reporting cycle, I've got a finance manager that does that mm. because my game is better spent looking at the st strategy, looking at some of the delivery. So being in a technical technology business, looking at software teams, you know, I'm driving um, aspects of the business that you wouldn't ordinarily see as an old sort of school CFO do. Mm. But to me, that's where I want to play the game. And I actually think that's the future of the role anyway. If you're, I mean, it's not about the numbers, really. I think that's probably 20% of my job. Yeah. You need to make sure that you've got the capability behind you mm. so that you can leverage and, and use that as a springboard to actually deliver value to the business. Absolutely. And it's about being forward focused, not um, you know, backwards looking and, and that's the traditional role has been, you know, preparing accounts and, and doing that sort of thing. What we're seeing, the CFOs that are successful are being much more forward focused yeah. and also um, having that conversation as a leadership team and driving it about, right, we've got limited resources that we're um, we able to use. So how do we prioritise what we're doing as mm. an organisation? Mm. Um, how do we prioritise the allocation of resources? Yeah. And then when we're thinking about execution, well, who's accountable? for getting it done. Mm. And if the CFO is the only person sticking their hand up around the table, then we've got a problem. Yeah. Um, so we need to make sure who is actually accountable for getting things done around the leadership team. And then the difference being, well, who, who is going to be responsible for helping deliver um, against those KPIs? Yeah, and I think also it's around looking and questioning, having that constant are we doing the right things? Mm. Are we heading in the right direction? Have we spent $10 million getting us to here, but is that actually going to get us to where we need to be? And is that still relevant? You know, having those discussions, I think sets CFOs apart from it, those that don't. Absolutely. And it's really easy to get stuck in that um, management rut, yeah. if you like, yeah. of doing the same thing every month. What's really um, an opportunity is for CFOs with the rest of the leadership team to to set some time aside and say, well, actually, what do we need to do? What do we need to focus on? What's urgent? What's important? Um, and actually invest some time so that then you can work out what it is you really need to do. Yeah. Um, you know, I see organisations that are dealing with a whole you know, shopping list of things that they want to get done when really if they're able to prioritise on three or four of those um, really key you know, we talk about big, hairy, audacious goals, but really key priorities mm -hmm. for the organisation mm -hmm. um, that actually start delivering and, and hit that execution. Yeah, and I think it goes back nicely to the fact that, you know, the CFO is very much shoulder to shoulder with the CEO, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully there's a good balance there. So one's strengths is the other one's weaknesses. So mm -hmm. together, those two roles are driving the organisation forward. Mm -hmm. so Absolutely. We could talk about this for hours, but thanks, Julia. That's great. Thanks, Paula.